What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about my personal transformation in business and how it deeply impacted me. So if this is your first time here, pay attention because this may impact you at some point in the future. When I first got into business, I was a physical products guy. I started selling office furniture, then that moved from used office for, well, I've sold, I actually was selling new office furniture, then I sold used office furniture, then I went back to selling new office furniture, then I went to selling used goods that I got from the storage auctions. And I was a physical products type of guy for 12, maybe 14 years, where I would go out and get a physical product, and then I would go out and find a customer who needed that physical product. And that was the foundation, that was the impetus, that was the hub of me being in business, selling physical products. And let me go ahead and tell you something that literally changed my life. After my partner, rest in peace Francine, got cancer and died. It was really hard for me to be in the storage auction business. It was just, just terrible. It was just a really, really bad time. And I started looking for something else to do because you know, I was relatively young and I needed something to do. And I started to investigate things. And one of the things I did was I created not one, not two, but three blogs, passionatefriday.com, I'll be your business credit mentor, sound familiar, and urbanpackrat.com. So I created all three of these blogs at the same time because I found this really well-written article online talking about, instead of trying one thing, try multiple things and see what rises to the top. And it became evident literally in the first few weeks that urbanpackrat.com had the most juice because I can literally just sit down and come up with a blog post without really even thinking. I, I mean, 1,500, 2,500 words, just like bam, bam, bam. Passionate Friday was easier. It was not, it was nowhere, it was, it was easy, but the profit potential was probably very limited. And at the time, I really wasn't aware of what was going on in terms of literature, that type of literature. There was an author by the name of Zane who was killing it with literature, but she had books, she had a club, she had a posse, so to speak. And then Business Credit Mentor, that was a struggle. That was really, really a struggle. So what happened was I just literally gave up on Business Credit Mentor, then I stopped writing on Passionate Friday, and then all my energy and time and effort went into Urban Pack Rap because it was so easy. It was so easy to think of a story. It was so easy to write a blog post. And then I was also working on my second book. My first book, which was supposed to be a relationship book, was about half done when I looked at the uh, landscape of people who were writing relationship books. And I was a single man, not in a relationship, and that, was the thing that kept coming because it was Steve Harvey who was actually married and then there was these other guys who were both single so there was a lot of political pushback as you're being a single man writing a relationship book and once again the profit motive the profit motive wasn't really there for Steve Harvey the profit movie was there because he was already famous so I just went ahead made the decision that I wasn't going to finish that book and then I started writing making money A to Z with self storage and auctions and this is where the transformation became because I would say four to five years after I got out of the storage auction business from my mentality I was still a physical products type of guy. You know, I still thought that way. I still had that energy. And unbeknownst, I don't know if I ever talked about this in the video, but there were people who were doing storage auctions that I would actually help them because I would sell stuff for them. I was still very much a physical products kind of guy until my, till October, 2011. Let me explain what happened. After writing my first book from start to finish, it was such a thrill. It was just a, such a thrill to pull something out of my mind, put it on paper and sell it. 
Because once again, being a physical products guy, this is one of the biggest issues I had. If I was if I was selling new products, it wasn't an issue. But selling used stuff, I would have what I would call these perfect units, these units that I could literally sell 90 to 100% of the stuff in there and didn't have to throw anything away. And one of the things that consistently got to me with these perfect units was I would give them, sell everything, and then I would be back to the regular units. And I can tell you, there were some units I had to throw one unit I know in particular, I threw 90% 90 of that unit away. It only sold 10%. There was only 10% of that unit was worth selling. The other 90% got hauled off to the trash dump. That was kind of my psychology, my methodology. And I was really, really rooted in into it until October 2010. October 2010. That was my first full year of being a writer, selling a book, doing YouTube videos, and I made $62,000, which I know doesn't sound like a lot of money, but for me, it was a fortune because this $62,000, I pulled out of my head. I put it on paper, I sold it, and actually the books made more. I'm not counting the additional factors, Amazon fees, and that was what I got. I got $62,000, and I remember I was sitting out on my little porch drinking the tea and I was like, so for the last year, I've been making YouTube videos, I've been selling my book, and then I started to get requests for pimping Craigslist because I talked about Craigslist in the book and it's like, do you have a guy for price? So I wrote pimping Craigslist and I became a writer and I started writing books and doing things and, and I was like, I like this, I like this. I, I really do like this and this was when the root of the transformation kind of took place because at that moment I was sitting on the porch and I got a call from someone who was in the storage auction business that wanted me to do something and I said no. That was the beginning of the transformation. That was the beginning of the business transformation because this is what's funny. All of my business knowledge still applied to what I was doing. I just had to use it a little differently, but it, the, the sales, the marketing, the presentation, all that stuff, all that stuff was still good, but I was using it to sell my book and I was using it to do something very, very different in the world. And I just, you know, cause it took me a while cause it was 2010, 2011, and then 2012, which was my record year. And I started to really, really think because other things in me changed because when I was buying storage auctions, I will say this, I was extremely cheap because my thoughts was, why would I spend like this shirt? This shirt was like a hundred bucks, right? When I was in that earlier phase, 2010, 2011, 2012, there would have been no way in the world I would have bought this shirt. I couldn't do it. I physically couldn't do it because I was hardwired into the storage auction mechanism. I was just like, I, I remember, and this is one of the things that did it, because I, I bought this unit at the U-Haul facility over here off of Highway 85. The unit cost me maybe 90 bucks, and it was full of boxes, there was no furniture. Only thing in that unit was clothing, a lot of clothing. Polo shirts, polo leather jackets, I remember selling, because there was seven polo leather jackets. I actually kept one. I still have it to this day. And I sold those six jackets for anywhere from 500 to 700 bucks on eBay. One jacket, I made my profit the, and I had plenty of stuff. I had shoes and all this stuff. So literally, I got myself a completely new wardrobe for $90. And then I probably made maybe 12,000 selling that stuff online. So that was kind of how my psychology was. Why well, go to a brand new store and spend $100 for one shirt when I could spend 90 and get a completely new wardrobe? And that was my process. That was how I thought about stuff. That's how I conducted myself. And I was very hardwired into that until 2015 because I started to change. I started to, because I, I went to the store and I bought some stuff and I was like, did I really do that? I was shocked at myself. I was like surprised because that was such a hard thing for me to 
part with money buying new stuff in the store other than food because literally when I was in the storage auction business, I changed out my living room and my dining room and my bedroom several times. I would just take the best stuff home and then sell what I had. During this personal transformation, I didn't know it. I was unaware of it, but I became completely digital and I didn't even know it because um, 2014 was when I created Hustlers Kung Fu and I became extremely digital, very digital in everything I did. And from 2009, October until this day, the vast, all of the money that I've made and I will say livable money, the real money, it's been from digital products. And it's just something that happened because I got into the digital world. I got into this whole system and it was very surprising how I transformed. And oh, let's talk about the cars. When I was in the storage auction business, I had some nice cars, but they were older. They were paid for and then 2017, I'm driving by the Porsche dealership and I see this beautiful blue Porsche 911. It was so, such an eye attractive car, so eye catching. I literally pulled over into the parking lot. The Porsche dealership was closed and I just walked around that car and mentally I said, I'm getting one of these one day. Boom. That was the big, I, I never thought I would pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for a car. Never assumed, never urged it. And my latest car, the new Porsche, the 2022 Porsche Turbo was $270,000. And I did it without even blinking. I did it without even pausing. This is one of the things that literally happens to you when you get successful. I would say it happens to some of us. There are some people who can get a billion dollars and they're gonna still live in the same house, they're gonna still drive the same car. But for me, this created a vast transformation in how I looked at the world, how I bought stuff, how I used stuff, how I did things. It created an incredible transformation and it created a very different me. And you know, once again, if you've been around here, you know I've been resetting everything, I've been doing stuff. I feel, no, I don't feel, I know. I'm back to the digital dude. I'm back to creating digital stuff. I'm back to working on stuff in a digital manner. And it's very different than selling physical products. Physical products, I remember on eBay, and fortunately this didn't happen a lot, but when someone wanted to return something, me and my partner would lose our minds because we didn't want to get the money back, right? And what, what happened with me getting out of physical products, people don't return digital products. Um, it got to be a very wild, special moment for me because I was just looking at this, this big, huge transformation, how I went from being cheap, just go, there's no other word for it. I was extremely cheap. And this is one of the reasons why I'm making these videos about pathologically cheap. I knew it being pathologically cheap because I was at one point in my life pathologically cheap. And it was just, you know, things changed. My values changed. I started to do different things. I started to observe different things. And because of business, I was able to weather this change. This change did not cause me any harm. This change did not bring me any pain. I was able to weather the change and adjust to the lifestyle and adjust to living this different way. But this is one of the things that business has done for me. Business has created a very different dynamic, a very different choice, way of choice, because I look at things very differently. I look at a lot of stuff very differently. I look at how I integrate into the world how I present to the world and things. Like, everything is very, very different now because uh, once again, for you guys who don't know, some new books are coming. There's, there's all kinds of stuff that's coming and I'm excited about the rest of the year because for some reason I got off track. I got way off track and I created a lot of stuff. I created a lot of outcomes. I drew a crowd of people that I want nothing to do with. And they're like literally hanging on by their fingernails because 
every now and then I'll get this weird message from one of those people and I'll, I'll tell you, I'm not going to tell you the message because I deleted it. This message was like, man, I love this. I love this. I love this. And when you do this, I wouldn't subscribe to this. And I was like, it worked because this person, he went, he left my BS and went to some other BS. And I was just sitting there like, hmm, this is very interesting because when you go ahead and you observe the human creature in its native habitat doing what it does best, it's a very interesting and curious thing to watch because once again, I don't mean any, anybody any harm, but once again, to echo Nick Saban, to echo Kirby Smart, to get to that championship level, I need some four star and five star prospects. And these people were not four and five. They, were, they weren't even D1. They weren't even one star. They were just, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. But going through this whole process, going through this whole transformation, just opened my mind up to let me know that this is the path that I should stick to this is the path that I should stay on. And this is the thing that I need to put together long term to see my ultimate destiny. Because with this transformation, with this major change, it allowed me so much freedom, so much opportunity, so many wonderful experiences that I could never, ever go back to what I used to do. So if you hadn't heard me, I'm going to be 100% digital going forward. And there's so much, there's so many things that are going to come from this. There are so many things I'm going to put together. There's so many things I'm going to work on. There's so many things that are going to happen in this process that are going to be literally mind boggling, literally mind boggling. Because once we go ahead and we get this thing to where we want it to be and get all of this stuff done, you're going to see some miraculous. You're going to see some wonderful. You're going to see some very nice things. So with that, I want you to subscribe. I want you to hit the bell notification thing for all. I want you to watch these videos two or three times so you can eat it all. And more importantly, I want you to get the money management system, which will teach you how to optimize your money, teach you how to get business credit. Right now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six dudes on YouTube for running ads selling business credit, and they've been running these ads for quite a while. So you go ahead and sign up for this course, which is 100% free to you. You're gonna learn how to do this stuff that they are charging for. So that's what I got for you. If it's uh, the, the description, it's gonna be in the description box. And if I don't forget, cause sometimes I forget, it'll be in the first comment. So you can go ahead and get this information and start building up your personal finances in the best way possible. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today. I'm proud to be here tomorrow. Probably be here 10 years from now and I will see you guys in the next video.